I'm seeing a lot of um, emotion stirred up in this uh, spread, okay? And I feel like it oscillates between like um, distrust and also frustration and a little bit of anger. And so whatever you do, try to, you know, maintain your composure for this week. And especially when dealing with, you know, people you care about, people you love. Um, aiming to be a little bit more objective when it comes to communication. Um, you know, so, so for example, if someone is, is uh, saying like, um, hey, sorry, I missed you last time. Uh, how about we catch up this week? And you're kind of like, oh, when I needed you last week, you weren't there and now you're here when you're, um, you know, like when you're free. So be a little bit careful about, you know, not adding fuel to the fire. If somebody is communicating, just take whatever they say at face value and um, don't inject that, that, that sense of cynicism or that sense of mistrust into the communication, okay? And the reason I say that is um, at the center of the spread, how you and your significant other or your crush are dealing with each other, we have the moon. And the moon deals with confusion. It also deals with overall. And, you know, um, your energy is very directed. You're very concise with communication. You're very clear with you. Everything is like yes or no. Do you like this or don't you like this? Like you're very decisive. You you own your feelings. You own your emotions. And you know how you feel about somebody at all times. Okay? So with the moon, it indicates to me you possibly dealing with someone who's very wishy-washy. Yes, there is a strong emotional connection but there is also a sense of mistrust and a sense of like jealousy coming into the picture as well. Where somebody says something, one thing and they do another or their actions are not very consistent with their words. And so, or they're, they're not even communicating clearly. You ask them, you know, one thing and they respond with another. Um, you're, you can say like, hey, let's, uh, you know, meet up at seven. And then they're like, oh, seven's not good for you, for me. But they don't give you an alternative, you know, like time. So dealing with somebody who could be very um, wishy-washy, non-committal, not so much non-committal, but the way they communicate kind of sucks. And uh, you, I feel like your patience is is wearing thin with this person. And I feel like, you know, this is not a one-time thing. I feel like it's been happening, you know, over and over and over again. You could have been pursuing this person for like two months. And you're realizing these patterns about them. Okay, so I feel like most of you are coming in with new relationships. For those who are in stable relationships, um, there's still, I see arguments and, and things brewing because somebody's not taking care of their responsibilities. But overall, I feel like, you know, people who are newly um, out there dating, there's like confusion when it comes to your partner. This is your energy, the two of wands. Um, usually this is like being at a distance uh, from a partner. Some of you could be traveling for work and some of you have a lot of responsibilities where you have to do overtime, where you have to work on the weekends, where you have to, you've been getting out of the house, you know, um, you've been like um, very busy, I feel. And with the two of wands, it's sort of like, it's a relationship card, but one person is not in the picture. And the partner that you have, you're looking at your partner. We have the nine of cups. This is somebody with a lot of options. This is somebody that could be very flirtatious. If they're not flirtatious, at least they're so nice that they have trouble saying no. They have trouble turning down offers. They're not very clear to reject people and they're not very clear about telling people, you know, I'm not interested, take a hike. So they have a lot of onlookers kind of lurking around, uh, hoping to, you know, get an in. So you have someone who's quite popular, who's very likable, who is uh, quite popular, very likable, um, easy to be around with, quite fun to be around with, very sweet, uh, loving, affectionate. Um, but they might have a lot of options around them. And I feel like for those who are trying to, you know, get this person, I feel like they're looking elsewhere. Their attention is elsewhere. And so 
I almost feel like you want to possess this person. I almost feel like you want to kind of like corner them. Uh, not so much like physically, but but so that you can get an, a clear, concise answer out of them. And so that you can get a clear, you know, idea as to how do you feel about me? Is this, are, are you serious with me? Or should I, you know, stop wasting my time with you? And you're not really getting any type of a, you know, verbal yes or no from, from this person. They're very evasive. And... What I have here is the Seven of Wands and the Tower. The Seven of Wands is, it's a relationship, I feel like, from your end, where it's very challenging, it's very hard, and it, I feel like it's affecting your self-esteem from one moment to the next. You know, if you're dealing with someone who's very wishy-washy and they're not able to commit to you or they say one thing and they do another, it's almost like, it, it just feels to me like it's very difficult. And with the Seven of Wands here, this is almost like all the energy, all the frustration is directed at one person. So I feel like this is your energy towards them, trying to get them to be clear, trying to, you know, and, and even with couple people, I feel like there might be um, um, falling outs, there might be arguments coming into the picture, okay, with the tower. And I pulled out two cards as well to clarify the tower just to see what we're looking at and we have here the seven of cups this is like fantasy not made into reality and I have some people as well this is inter internet based types of communication where somebody's looking at other pictures where somebody is like um, possibly talking to other people texting other people and we have here the ace of cups so this seems to me like it's a revelation about, you know, where you stand with another person. Are you like the way that you feel about them? You might really like them, but you might not be the only person that they're talking to. And then I also feel like, you know, coming to the realization that maybe this is a lost cause because, you know, you built this person up like you, 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 you saw the image of them or you saw like you know the the fantasy of them but in reality they might not be the suitable partner for you so I feel like something is coming to light where you are going to make a reassessment of this relationship and you might not I feel like you might not feel like um, they're giving you their undivided attention and their attention their energies are scattered elsewhere and I feel like you're dealing with a big flirt uh, you're dealing with someone, not so much a heartbreaker, but like they like the attention, okay? They, they like the attention that's given to them. And then on the flip side of that, I also feel like you're dealing with someone who has trouble rejecting suitors. And so they kind of keep people hanging on, not because they like the attention, but because they have trouble saying no. And it can be very frustrating because with you, you're very clear about, you know, drawing boundaries and you're very clear about who you want who you want to pursue so that element I feel like there's frustration associated with it okay um, the second spread here I feel like for many of you um, you're planning to receive guests to come to your place or you're planning to take a trip with friends to venture out I feel like some of you just want to get away there's this element about, you know, wanting to get a new start, wanting to like just sell your house, get rid of your stuff and move to a different location. So I'm feeling this sense of like wanting to break out of your shell and, and have a new experience. OK, do something new, do something amazing and just, um, you know, plotting the next trip the next location, the next job, the next um, vacation even. So I see a lot of that coming into the picture. I don't see financial issues, so no news is always good news. But what I do see is um, you, you want a partner in crime, okay? Um, you're more than capable of doing things on your own, but I feel like a lot of the times you're very hesitant. You want a partner by your side, either a friend that you can travel with, uh, somebody that you can go and have lunch with, even a dog that you can take for a walk. 
Um, but I feel like there is a sense here of not wanting to do things on your own. And that can really um, hold you back in a lot of the major decisions that you're making. If life is so contingent on having another person by our side, you know, you might as well be like a Gemini or a Libra rather than an Aries. So you're given the Aries energy for a reason because when you start things on your own and not have to wait around for other people, there are no logistical issues, okay? Because you, you start it, you know where you are, and you can basically plan things and, and to cater to yourself. So I feel like in a way you might have come to this week, you know, with the realization that I've really held myself back in life. I keep waiting around for people and they don't really deliver what they promise. OK, and then I also feel for many of you as well, like waiting on guests. So that that energy it's like waiting to coordinate to um, so that the two of you can meet up or they're coming to visit and they're going to stay overnight or they're going to stay, you know, over the weekend and things like that. Um, and I also have as well the Seven of Cups. And it's showing up, you know, before in the love reading as well as now. And this card usually indicates, you know, the fantasy, okay? Conjuring, dreaming, wondering what if. And I feel like for many of you, there's a warning here about, um, you know, not going back to the past. And they're, they're saying like finding a new place, finding a new location, uh, not getting pigeonholed into, into like, so for example, I see you making plans, wanting to break away and wanting to make some major changes in your life. And they're saying as well, you know, don't go back to the past because you're looking back at the past and there's some blockages here. And it's sort of telling you, for example, if you're thinking about, I want to quit this job, I'm bored and I want to go back to my previous job, going back to the past is probably not a good idea. Okay. Or there's that ex that was always, you know, interested in me or that guy from high school that's always interested in me. I want to know if, you know, things can play out. And they're saying like, don't go back to that past. Don't live in that time capsule and relive, you know, the, the, the movie reels from the past because life goes on. And once again, if you find yourself having to do a lot of things on your own, I feel like you are craving a partner, somebody that can stand by your side, or even like a friend, a partner in crime, somebody that you can do these things with. But you're more than capable. This is your energy. You need to embody your energy and you need to, you know, own up to the fact that I'm more than capable of doing it on my own. So I feel like a lot of plans have been delayed because you were waiting on other people, waiting for them to get their stuff together, waiting for them to, you know, overcome their sense of like um, stagnation, waiting for them to finish things, waiting for their career to start. And it, it has been a series of setbacks because of because plans were made with other people. So aiming to be a lot more independent and, you know, things like that. I, I feel like it's going to bode well for you with your Aries energy. It's in perfect alignment with where you're supposed to go and the person that you're supposed to become. Okay, so I will leave it at that Aries. I hope you guys have a wonderful week.